Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Now Crafting at the Osprey Lounge with me, your host, Joey Scalzo! Hey man, and women! Um, wait, oh don't forget, gotta put my stole on, you know, Gloria! <laughs> it's got little towels on it, it helps me, you know, it keeps everything neat and clean and organized. Um, what do you think of the new set? What do you think? Eh, it'll do for now, right? Uh, today's episode we're going to do an old-fashioned, yes, an old-fashioned, a fun drink, a muddle drink. Oh no, does everybody have their muddler? Their muddler is a really cool muddler. Got it over at thecocktailkingdom.com. Those people over there, they're great people. Check them out. They've got everything you need, glassware included, if you want some glassware. Um, but if you need some uh, tips or anything like that, you can always hit me up on my websites joebiz.net or joebiz.org. But let's continue with the old fashioned. Now, ingredients with the old fashioned, very simple. Cherries, oranges, bitters, and bourbon or rye. Today we're gonna use bourbon, Jim Beam bourbon, a good old standby from our folks over at uh, Beam Centauri. Um, Redemption rye from Indiana, you know? Rye can be made anywhere. Bourbon has to be made in Kentucky. Good old Kentucky. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to muddle. This is a muddle drink, and it's all alcohol. Now, there are some variations on it. Some people like to use, you know, soda water or Pellegrino sparkling water to sort of cut it. But we're going to use, we're going to make the classic one. We're going to do a classic one today. We're going to have fun. So without further, further ado, um, Luxardo maraschino cherries, the only kind of cherries there are, are there are the... Amarena cherries. They are um, just made in a different part of Italy. Um, still delicious, amazing cherries. Not those yucky, yucky maraschino cherries with the formaldehyde red dye number three, four, five, six, whatever the heck. Anyway, we're going to do three. One, two, and three. Delicious. Remember your tongs. Always use your tongs. CocktailKingdom.com. Love that place. So, oh, and these are from uh, our friends over at uh, Anchor Distilling. You know, they make Anchor Steam Beer in San Francisco. Um, they don't make these. They import those from Italy. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to get a sugar cube. That's right. A sugar cube, not sugar, not brown sugar. Um, I like using brown sugar, sugar in the raw. It adds sort of another depth of flavor when you're making an old-fashioned. Um, and last but not least, we want to get an orange. Now, today, I've decided to use a blood orange. And let me show you what the blood orange looks like. Let's get the old fruit knife out. So, a blood orange. Let me show you what the blood orange looks like. It's really nice. Blood oranges add another layer of flavor, too, because they're not as sweet. They look like... They're a dark red bloody color. <laughs> anyway, um, so you just get a little slice, a little wheel, throw that in there. Boom. And last but not least, some bitters. So today I've chosen peach bitters from our friends over at Fee Brothers. Fee Brothers peach bitters. Um, Fee Brothers, good old Rochester, New York. Bitters is made from... Um, an overproofed alcohol, and they basically take the fruit, the herb, whatever it is, to flavor it with, and it just steep in it. They basically, you know, um, marinate it in it, if you will, uh, and it forms the flavor. So it is, there is alcohol in, in bitters, so if you ever want to, you know, use it in something else, it's not that much, because you're only using a few dashes. I like to use five dashes. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Done. Um... But uh, Fee Brothers is really nice uh, artisanal line. They make all kinds of different flavored bitters. Um, and now you've got everything in your cup. You've got your cherries. You've got your sugar cube. You've got your bitters. You've got your orange. Now the last thing you're going to do is you're going to muddle. You're just going to basically break up the fruit and the um, cherries to sort of create some flavor. And you're just going to mash it for about 10 to 15 mashes if you will, just so that the sugar cube at least that mashes up. Um, there you have it. There's all the mix. So now what you're going to do is 
you're going to put in your, uh, where are you? Your ice cube. And I'm going to use my square cube here, if I can get it out. <laughs> it's a little slippery. There it is. There we go. Aha! There we go. Square ice cube. Um, I'm going to use that to stir with. Um, my friends over at CocktailKingdom.com, they have the uh, molds. You can make square cubes, you can make round cubes. Later episode, we'll show you some round cubes. And last but not least, we're going to pour in the bourbon. And we're going to use two ounces. All you need is two ounces, because if you stir it enough, as I've said in previous episodes, two ounces will yield you a really nice drink. So we're going to stir it at least 60 rounds. Doo -doo -doo. I like using the, uh, the, the solid cube. Um, it's just, it doesn't dilute it as much, but it chills it enough so that you have a, a really nice, delicious flavored drink. Uh, let's see, that's 60 times. What do you think? Yeah? Try a few more. What the heck? Three taps. Remember, three taps. No more than three. Good luck. Um, now I'm going to use my rocks glass. It's a basic rocks glass. I'm going to use that. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to now pour it over a round cube. Boom! Mold, CocktailKingdom.com. So now I'm going to strain it over. This. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful drink. Love that. Now, some people will create this cocktail in the rocks glass, if you will, or the old fashioned glass. This is a single old fashioned. There are double old fashioned glasses, which are bigger, which hold a lot more. Um, some people like to create the cocktail in there and have the salad in there. It looks like salad. So some people like to have it in there. It's totally fine. The choice is yours, whatever you like. Um, you can strain it off and just have a few bits floating in there. You can have the salad in the bottom. It's up to you. The choice is yours. Um, I just like doing it this way. Sometimes I'll do it that way, put the salad inside. But this is the old fashioned made with bourbon. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. Wonderful. Mm. So many different flavors going on. You've got the orange, you've got the cherry, you've got the peach, you've got the, the, the spiciness of the bourbon from the oak, the toastiness. It's such a great drink. Um, more of a winter drink, but summer drink too. Dessert. I love these drinks. I drink them all year round. So anyway, my name is Joey Scalzo. This is now crafting at the Osprey Lounge. To learn more about me, what I do, I have two websites. One is joebiz.net for the performing side. One is joebiz.org for the mixology sommelier side and whatever else, the teaching side. Um, hit me up on those websites if you have any questions, comments, concerns, canner, or you can subscribe to this channel that you're watching, my channel. See you soon.